bring it back. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So, this time we've got a pretty iconic car. We've got a uh, stripped down remains of a Toyota Celica GT4. So it's a pretty pretty well known car, classic rally car. I remember it well from my childhood. Uh, I've never owned a Celica, but I did used to have a Toyota MR2. It uh, shares the same engine, basically. Uh, so it's kind of similar, although this one is four wheel drive, not rear wheel drive, and it's not mid engined. So in many ways, no similarities at all, but still. So, uh, I've got the engine out, we need to completely rebuild the engine. I've got the suspension components ready to go back on. Um, I've got new body panels to put on, but we're going to have to weld up the remainder of the bodywork, get it to the paint shop, get it sorted, get the rally parts back on, and then we'll be ready. So, first things first, as always, let's deal with the engine. Now I'm finding, uh, so this is a modded car for the game. So I'm finding a little bit that, that while the engines are kind of broadly accurate to what the real car is supposed to have, often that they're not really quite right. And I suspect this will be the case as well here. Um, nothing I can do about that really, but it's just, you know, it gives you an idea. So at the end of the day, I think that the modders have only got sort of the engines that are already in the game to work with, with any sort of minor modifications, and then they're not really able to do. Uh, sort of great sweeping changes, so I think that's why we're sort of seeing um, a few sort of problems, particularly with like the the, uh, the Crown Vic we did on the last video, and uh, the Porsche before that had a straight six rather than a flat six, and that sort of thing. And that, that's that's why we're seeing those problems. So first things first, let's get all the timing gears off. Um, which way round does it take, take that off? Let's take the idle rollers off. Let's have all the alternators. And the water pumps, water pump, and I guess it should be the power steering pump on the other side. Yes. So take the belt tensioner off, and this is the timing belt. It is belt driven. I know a lot of our cars in the past have been chain driven. It is belt driven, so that will need regular servicing. Uh, let's take the head off. What's stopping me taking the head off? Oh, take the ignition wires and the ignition coil off. There we go. Now we can take the head off. No, we can't. I'm missing something else. Oh, of course. All the spark plugs. Pull the spark plugs out the side. And let's get the head off. And then underneath, we should have all the pistons. Brilliant. So, let's flip this engine around. It's only a small, quite a small, simple engine. Um, it's well, in reality, it's the classic Toyota engine. They used it in a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things. Um, fairly reliable. I certainly never had any problems with mine. Um, take these crankshaft bearing caps off, and then we'll pull all the rod caps off, and then we can take the pistons out. And we're going to replace all this with brand new parts. The rod cap, then piston, 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 and nope, nope, not playing ball. Come on, and piston, and the crank. Oh no, nearly the crankshaft, but of course, I've got to take all the clutch parts off. Yep, and the flywheel. So let's take the clutch push plate off, and the clutch plate itself, and then the flywheel. Oops, just click, and the flywheel. Now the crankshaft will come out. Brilliant, and that's it to block out. Well, it's good. So let's head over to the repair table. Um, I've got a few other bits in my inventory, but it's more than it's worth to sort them out. So we'll just fortunately have to sit through sort of a spammy bit while I just uh, smash through all the things I've got in the inventory. Um, we'll get everything repaired up. We should hopefully get most things repaired and then we'll have to buy a few new bits like the spark plugs. Um, I think we have to buy new pistons and rod caps, that sort of thing, uh, which we'll just have to replace. But that's not a problem, we can do that relatively easily. Okay, so let's head back over to our engine bench. Let's have a look what we've got. So the block repaired, that's the main thing. Then we'll see what we've got that's repaired and what needs doing. Um, so I guess the crankshaft's the main thing. Let's put the bearing caps back on. I know we're going to need new pistons, I think. 
Um, I don't think they often get repaired. I mean, understandable. Why would you put old pistons in? Yeah. So let's um, get out of that mode. And let's quickly get some pistons. Got four piston rings. Four and four pistons. Oops. So let's get these back in. Um, I did not remember to buy any rod caps, which was very stupid. So I'm fairly sure these don't they don't repair either. Oh they do. Oh would you look at that? That's a spot of luck, isn't it? Okay, so we've got repaired rod caps, let's drop these back on. I know I'm putting these in the wrong way around in the sense that you put the pistons in from the top, but um, I'm just lazy and so I haven't. <laughs> let's drop the oil pan back underneath. Bolt that on. While I'm here, I'll stick the oil filter on. I got one of them earlier. So let's pop out and flip the engine back over. Awesome. So back into it. What else have we got to put on? Alternator, did that repair? It did indeed. Water pump. Oh, doing well. I don't think we've had anything that's broken yet. So put the head back on. Screw this back on. Then uh, the cam. What about the camshaft caps? No. So how many of them do I need? One, two, three, four, five. So five camshaft caps. Oh, I actually have to. Are they specified camshaft caps? Sometimes it just uses generic. No, it just uses generic. And other times, it requires specific. I get a little bit confusing. So let's get these bolted back into position. So once we've got this engine back together we're going to drop it back in the car um, and then we'll have a look at all the suspension problems that we need to get sorted. Get that all repaired back on the car and all the drivetrain so we'll stick the gearbox back on. Um, the drive shaft because it's four wheel drive. It's got a diff at the back as well. So get all that back on. Get the exhaust back on etc etc. Um, and then it's going to be a case of um, bodywork basically will be the main thing then to deal with um, so I've got all the panels ready to put back on um, but we need, would need to put them on uh, and then it's to the paint shop I need a cam gear So what else am I missing? Timing belt. I do think about sometimes trying to get these things sorted beforehand. I know it would be better to not have to uh, sit through me occasionally, well, occasionally quite regularly visiting the shop, but it's really hard to sort of remember everything without uh, disassembling everything. And you know, I don't really want to disassemble. I think I think uh, the engine disassembly and rebuilding is some some of the best bits of the video. So. Unfortunately, one of the consequences is having just to sit through the shop bits while I get the bits that I need. Uh, but I try and keep it as short as possible um, and just work quickly when buying the bits from the shop. Although that doesn't always pan out. I think there's only one. Oops, how have I spelled that wrong? Idle roller. So let's buy that as well. Should have also got the uh, spark plugs probably while I was there. And we crank pull it on and put the new idle roller. So serpentine belts, I'm pretty sure there's two. Um, 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 um. That one. Time belt, this would be. Well, I can't see it if there is, but I'm pretty sure there is two belts, so we're just going to have to. Uh, Put this one on and see what other ones it wants. Seven time belt A or just just generic and unspecified. Okay, get that. Let's drop that into place. Okay, so what have we missed, if anything? So the ignition coil. And we're going to want the uh, ignition leads. Oh, hum, hum, hum. Ignition coil. There we go. Got that. The leads. I'm going to want four spark plugs. 
I'm also going to want a flywheel and the remainder of the clutch. So the pressure plate, oops, pressure plate, uh, the clutch plate, and the bearing. Oh, and on, don't forget a fuel filter. There we go. Let's get that as well. So let's mount these on. Um, another thing about uh, I've been thinking about doing, guys, uh, channel-wise, is oh, oh put the spot in first. Um, is I only brought one? God damn it! Buy three more spark plugs. I'll get there in a minute. Honestly, I've been thinking about streaming. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've been doing sort of daily videos. Uh, I could keep planning on doing daily videos. Nothing about that's going to change. But I was thinking possibly without the weekends, doing a little bit of streaming as well. Uh, sometimes you know, play games just for my own enjoyment while there's nothing going on. And once I've done my daily video. Um, so I thought I might as well think about streaming some of this stuff. So if that's something that would be of interest, you know, I could sort of get a Twitch account going, or I've got a Twitch account but I've not really used it, and do some day weekend streaming, either some Car Mechanic, um, or Hold Fast, or some of the other games, some of the military games. Um, so that's an option, something I thought about doing. So if that's something that could be of interest to you, let me know in the comments below. Right. So we've basically got the engine rebuilt now. Um, I can't see that I missed anything, but you never quite know. Uh, can't put the manifold on yet because it needs to be in the car first. So let's take the engine off the engine stand. Let's put the engine into the car. And move this crane out of the way. To that, awesome. So. We have got to. Oh, I want to put that on from the front, bottom first. So let's go up. Put the front exhaust. Drop the gearbox back on, and then we'll swing round, connect that up to the manifold, and get that all bolted in. Um, so this section here wants to go there. Let's get the gearbox back in. Bolt this in. Awesome. Okay, anything missing out of there? No, right. Let's swing round. Drop the car back down. And it's tied up to the manifold. And then the engine's sort of properly in then. And we'll put the starter motor back on. So, let's pop this in. There we go. Manifold cover. So you don't burn yourself. Um, Alright, pop the starter back on. Okay, so uh, engine bay wise, just a few simple things like batteries. Probably an ABS unit. Oh yeah, there's the ABS pump. Should be a module for that. Just again, this it's not one unit. Put that in. There we go. Awesome. Uh, air filter. That should filter, and there should be a cap to this. Yes, there is. Just screw that back on. So, and then obviously, of course, a radiator tends to be helpful. Right, looking good. So, let's hop back under. And look at getting some of the suspension components sorted then. So, let's have a look at what we need. Steering rack. And then we should have the tie rods. Out to a knuckle. And then add a tie rod. And let's get the brake assembly, drive shaft, all that done. So there should be a wheel bearing and then the drive shaft. Bolt that in. And the discs, the calipers, the pads, and all that. Good stuff. Get that in. Bolt the caliper back in. Uh, then front shock absorber. Ooh. I don't have any good condition front shock absorbers. Their front shock absorbers, they should be okay. Why will they not go in? Yes. For some reason it wants me to stick the, the old <laughs> worn out shock absorbers back in. Slightly strange. Uh, just a little, little game bug there. So let's get the bushings in the subframe before I forget. 
Come on, bushing, where are you? There you are. Oops, misclick. So, put the bushing back in. No suspension arm. So if there's any cars you'd like to see done, what do you want to see next? You know, what, there's quite a few mods out there now for this game. So there's quite a lot of cars available. And there's also all the cars that are currently with the release. Same thing again. With the release version of the game. So, you know, there really is quite a lot of choice. So, yeah, really do let me know what, what you fancy seeing done. And happy to try and accommodate. Um, put the steering knuckle back on. Let's tie it into the steering rack. Fourth it in. Looking good. Oh, fall for this one every time, clearly. Got nice new parts, I don't want any of the. Uh, any worn out, rusty old front shock absorbers, that's just not acceptable, is it? So I put the wheel bearing back in, the front drive shaft, pull that in. Um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't like to say that this uh, setup, the suspension setup, is all that accurate to the actual car. Um, sort of increasingly finding that they're often just vaguely representative of a car's suspension and not necessarily super accurate um, but unfortunately I'm not a modder so there's nothing I can really do about that um, so not at the moment anyway so for pretty much everything's in there apart from the drive shaft but since we have no differential in the rear they can't put the drive shaft in there we go Let's bolt in a drive shaft sleep four wheel drive Exhaust in. Oops. That's where my uh, camera's going there, a bit wild. So, get the sway bar back in. Rear shocks. It'd be interesting to know if anyone watches this who actually has got a, a, a GT4 or an ordinary Celica, what's the suspension setup like? How accurate is it? It'll be interesting to know. Um, you know, if you do, if you do have one, and you want to let me know, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very much interested to hear. Um, I'm still hoping one day they're going to do an Evo for this game. I'm surprised they kind of haven't really. I would have thought there would have been one by now. Uh, there's a, there's a, an STI, a Subaru, uh, in Pretza, but alas, currently, no Evo. But hopefully, one day soon, we should get one. So, I know this takes a bit of a while, guys. Feel free to skip forward to this bit if you're, if you're not interested in the uh, suspension setup. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's just a case of getting everything back together. Once we've got this... Jeez, why it keeps doing this, I don't know. Uh, once we've got this rebuilt, we can then start looking at the body panels and getting things repaired. Starting to look like new again, and that's always very satisfying. Doing the body work is always one of the most satisfying bits about any rebuild. For, for me it is anyway, I find it really quite... That's when the car sort of really starts to take shape. You can see what it's supposed to look like. Uh, really starts to all come together. Should I put these bushings in on that side? No. Oh, I actually forgot the whole rear spring. <laughs> that that that's a uh, somewhat of a critical error. I would have said would somewhat uh, affect performance. So let's get the uh, suspension arm groove back in. Go, put the bolts in there. Nearly done on the rear suspension now, guys. Okay, disc, wheel hub bearing, drive shaft. Just 
pads and the calipers and that on the wheel. wheel. Might have one of sway bars and things off the back. Just have to jump on. Um, oh, spring again, obviously. Roll the wheel back on. Rear spring, spin cap, and I even know to put on the fresh wheel rather than clicking on the old one like I have every time before. So, have I missed anything glaring? It doesn't look like it. Uh, fuel tank, that fuel pump is in. Yep. Okay. So, let's lower this puppy down and grab the welder. So, let's take the welder over to car lifter A. Use equipment. Yes, so we have, with our magical skills, we've suddenly repaired the bulk of the bodywork there. So now it's a case of flicking over to assembly mode and getting what body panels we've got back on. Um, well, let's do the core body panels first. Obviously, it's going to go to the paint shop, so the colour doesn't really matter. Um, I've got an assortment of rallying parts to put on, which obviously, you know, who doesn't want a headlight rack? Um, pretty cool. There's some bonnet pins. Right door. Uh, windows. Oh yes, one thing I've forgotten internally there is a roll cage, which I always think is quite a, quite a nice little addition. Um, put that on there. The rear window. It's just shaping the car, getting it looking like a proper GT4. Oh, we've got a Hawaiian number plate. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that many Celica GT4s were made it to Hawaii, but you never know. So let's get the doors, the rear windows, get the mirror, the front windows. So, what if anything? Have I missed a door mirror there? I've also got the interior to do. Uh, interior disassembly. No, is there an interior assembly? Interior assembly. Seats, seats, steering wheel. Look at that, looking brand new, looking nice, looking nice. So let's just quickly have one more lap around the car in assembly mode, just make sure I've not missed anything. I love all the spot lamps, just looks so awesome. It's a proper rally car. Let's look around the side, okay, looking pretty awesome there now guys. So let's quickly throw this to normal mode and then take it to the paint shop. Okay, so let's head over to the paint shop. Oops, running into the side of the car. I'm not sure if we've got any livery options. We don't. So, what colour are we going to go for? It's a shame we've not got sort of the uh, the white and white and green livery. That sort of like try and get like a. Uh, it's not quite that, that brighter blue, but a nice sort of a uh, sort of dark royal blue, ultramarine blue sort of. Uh, yeah, fairly reasonable. It's a shame we can't do a. Unfortunately, you haven't unless it's a pre-programmed option. Uh, we haven't got the ability to do uh, like livery work, so like stickers, and uh, we can't properly ralify it in that sense, unfortunately. But. Have to make do. It still looks like a pretty nice car. So let's get it back out to I'll put it to the garage entrance A. Then let's run over have a look. Uh, I haven't put any in, uh, oil in the engine since I always forget. So let's do that quickly. Close the hood on that. That's going to take it for a quick spin around the racetrack. 
So uh, you're going to have to bear with some fairly terrible driving in this since I haven't got my gamepad with me and I've only got a keyboard and that's always going to be fairly hard. Flying down the street and seems to accelerate fairly quickly. I forget what it's got in real life horsepower wise, I think it should be sort of about 220 something like that, although feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh, I'll just see it. An awesome little car. I'm glad someone has modded this into the game, even if it's not perfect. And <laughs> unperfect like my driving, I think. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed making it. I think it's probably my favourite one to do. Oops, there's a cluster into the barrier. Um, if you've liked it, please consider to like, like the video, comment on anything you want to say, and let me know what you think about the accuracy of this model. And if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, as it really helps. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.